Oh boy, walking around can be painful if your shoes don't fit properly. What's worse, the wrong shoe can injure your feet and cause a variety of long-term problems. Dr. Tyrone Davis is a podiatrist and a specialist at treating foot problems, and he's here this morning to give us a little insight. And what have you brought here with you today? Well, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for having me on the show this oh, morning. Sure. Okay. Uh, basically, what I brought here is uh, a, a small litany of, of shoes that can describe uh, and produce some of the, the foot problems that I see in my practice on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this one here looks kind of scary in itself. What, what <laughs> kind of threat does that represent? Okay, the threat that, uh, if you want to call it a threat, um, the, the shoe can present with um, uh, ill-fitting uh, toes okay. uh, in the toe box because it's so narrow. It's, it's very difficult to put five toes in a very narrow spot like this. Absolutely. And it does not matter how tall the heel is, if the toe box is very narrow, gravity will pull your body down and cramp your toes and cause them to, to bend. So they're not in a normal position inside of a shoe like Ex that. Exactly. <laughs> the shoe looks great, but it's, it's not comfortable. And, and then this one here, you see a difference in that one there? Well. Um, not a not a entirely uh, different difference. Yeah. Uh, the the main thing is that uh, this shoe would probably appeal to a woman based on her wardrobe. So um, some women tend to base their shoe gear on what they're wearing, regardless if uh, if it hurts or not. All oh, right. And so this is a very. Uh, synonymous with the uh, first shoe. And what we're talking about is a problem that everybody right. is trying to avoid. I believe we have some pictures of uh, the hammer toe. Now, how does the hammer toe result in a shoe like that? Hammer toes result in shoes because of various reasons. Uh, one could be heredity. Um, heredity can play a part in it, mm -hmm. um, uh, of which you can't avoid. Sometimes uh, rheumatoid arthritis can lead to that. The most common thing is wearing ill-fitting shoes, shoes that do not accommodate your feet properly. And when that happens, your feet have no choice but to try to find themselves in the shoe, and they end up buckling. And so when they buckle, they form the curve of a hammer. And also, we talked about uh, bunions. How does that get produced from having a shoe too tight? Okay, this is a, uh, I'm glad you asked that question. This is a big misconception. Bunions are caused entirely by heredity. You inherit bunions. Someone, your mother, father, grandparents, or so on, had that. Now, you're more prone to develop a severe bunion if you wear ill-fitting shoes, but uh, you were born with the potential to, to, to uh, develop bunions anyway. Oh, that's something. And uh, uh, we're talking about problems that affect not only women, but men as well. Exactly, yeah, equally. Uh, men and women can have the same problems. Women tend to have more hammer toes than men simply because most men uh, don't wear heels like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, it, it's been really interesting. Yes, we need sir. to have you back and we can talk about this a little bit more, but yes. I just want folks to know that uh, Dr. Davis is a podiatrist and a specialist, and uh, if you want to find out more information, you can just go to his website. That's totalfootcareclinic.com. Right. All right, well, stay tuned. More news, weather, and sports are just ahead this morning on Action News 5 Weekend.